Do you want to grow in your career? Are you an individual contributor who is aspiring to get into a leadership role? Or you have been in your existing role for over three years and wondering when you will get the promotion? Or you want to get selected for the pilot batch? Whatever the case, this video is for you because I am going to share some simple tips on how to grow in your career. So let's start with the fundamental question. Who is responsible for your growth? Your boss, right? Wrong. You are responsible for your growth. Only you. And I'll explain that in a bit. But let's start with the first tip. What not to do? Tip number one. Don't be a boss pleaser. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You open the door, you carry the bag, you get tea, coffee, like a personal assistant. Now, if you do it for everyone, I'm okay with that. But if you do it only for your boss, that's not good. And these folks, what they do is they butter up the boss so much that the boss ultimately pushes them up the ladder. It's very unfortunate that this is happening in some pockets even today. This is what you should not do. Tip number two, tenure does not give you a promotion. So don't think that, okay, I completed three years, my boss is going to promote me. Tenure has nothing to do with promotion. I've seen people get promoted in six months and six years. It's the performance that matters. It's the value that you bring to the table that will help you grow in your career. Tip number three, very important, performance is key. Focus on how you can add value to the team, to the group, to the organization. Meet your targets, achieve your goals, actually exceed the expectations. Make life easier for your boss, for your team members, for your peers. Don't say that is not my job. Think about ways how you can be resourceful. Keep in mind, a leader will always be happy to have a person who needs minimum supervision and can get the work done. Someone that the leader trusts. Aim to be that person. Tip number four, my favorite, be open to learning. Be a lifelong learner. Whatever role you are at, whatever designation, whatever level, be open to upskill yourself. Learn new skills. It can be communication skills. It can be leadership skills. Do a course, a certification, attend a workshop or simply read books. Try to understand, you know, the role that you aspire to get into. What are the skills that are needed for that role and, and keep upskilling yourself. But never settle. Never get comfortable in the role. Don't get complacent. Look at the industry. Be curious about the industry, about the company, how competition is working. Keep learning. Tip number five, ignore the noise. Yes, there will be a lot of negativity. There will be a lot of office politics, a lot of gossip, a lot of backbiting. A lot of your peers will pull you down. You have to simply ignore all of this. I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Try to stay away from all of this. Try to focus on your work and let your results speak for itself. Tip number six, communicate your career goals with your manager. Yes, you have to do that. You cannot say that your manager should understand or would know and all that. Your one-on-ones are there. In your one-on-ones, you have to speak about your aspirations, your short-term goals, your long-term goals. The manager needs to be aware of where you're headed and then work with you to create a career path for you. It's very important to speak. Tip number seven, find a mentor. This is so underrated. Mentors can provide you with valuable feedback. They can guide you through your career. It is so important to have someone who can share their experiences with you. So look for your role model. Look for someone in within your organization or it can be out of your organization also. Ask 
for mentoring that will really really help you move up your career and here is a bonus tip i don't know if you believe in manifestation but try and imagine yourself already in the role believe that you're getting in that role i hope these tips help you grow in your career all the very best if you have any questions for me please let me know and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching